and what do I see? And I'm like, this is going to be a prank, is what I'm thinking at first. But the story that I'm reading is that Yoel Romero has been awarded $27.4 million. Million. Right? Million. $27.4 million <laughs> over a claim that he sued some supplement company. Now, bear in mind, I'm in South Africa and everything's in France. Okay. Now, all my dates, I've got some UFC obligations coming up. When I look at them in my calendar now, they're all on Sundays. And I'm like, fucking Sunday. But I realize now because of the time difference. And my calendar, being a smartphone, is pretty smart. It just automatically changed the day to the Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, maybe the iPhone or MMA junkie website has done some fucking calculations and turned it from dollars into rand. Because I'm like, right. there's no way fucking the soldier of steroids has got $27.5 million. Anyway, it's true. Joel Romero sued whatever the company's called and got $27.4 million. And, you know, red panty night for Yo Romero. There must be a god. That's all I've got to say on this. All right, so let me see. I'm going to do this calculation right now. Um, to U.S. dollars. All right, hold on. So if, if he got $27 million, it would be... That would only be one million eight hundred thirty-three thousand dollars, which is still a fucking <laughs> lot of money. That's still great. Still, if you only got one point uh, no. eight million dollars, I'd be like, "Wow, one point eight million dollars, good for him." Yeah, I know, but it turns out he didn't get fucking twenty-seven million rand. He got twenty-seven million dollars, which is incredible. You know, and I'll say this: you know, me and you well, we had a little thing over the years. Congratulations if you're listening to this. Well done. Well done. That's awesome. It really is. I love you. But fucking hell, he can love anybody he wants. I love now. everyone. So That's what he's doing. Yeah. Hey, you know, South Africa is a cheap place. I went out for a lovely sushi meal last night. I ordered tons of stuff. It came to like $40. Right? Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Right? And the point I'm making is $27 million in South Africa would go a long way. I've never been to Cuba, but I reckon $27 million goes a fucking long way in Cuba. Yeah, what is the conversion on Cuban money to, uh, what is that? Uh, look, here's the deal, right? And maybe, maybe Answer I me this question, Michael. I don't Michael. care where you convert it. Yen, yeah. dollars, pesos, <laughs> pounds. Whichever way you fucking slice it. That man is a rich man. Never, never has, has to fight to again. A day again in his life. If he does, well done. I salute that. I'm happy for the man. Let me ask you a question. Because th for me, my what I take away from this is that he probably had a tainted supplement. He's probably not lying. He looks like a fucking god amongst men. His body, he's fucking muscle on top of muscle. But I will say this, may, if that was the only time he's ever been caught, I will say that nobody gets, nobody gives up $27 million without a big old fucking fight. And for him to be awarded that much money, my assumption is they had some real hard evidence that he was fucked and his reputation was fucked. We've been trashing him and his reputation for years. We've personally been doing it. He's not wrong. He's not wrong in saying that that was actually genuinely hurting his career because we as major platforms calling him a cheat to, to you know, hundreds of thousands of people that listen to these shows. Millions sometimes. Lewis, I just want to point this out and for everybody listening, this podcast is brought to you on the gas digital network subscription okay because what you're saying is we're liable now he's gonna come after us next he's gonna sue us next okay i'm sorry i'm just an employee of fucking gas digital network okay they pay me a check you want to sue someone Noel? you see fucking lewis all right anyway listen excuse me you always got a team of this lawyers ready to go now, now, for people listening, I feel like we're going to break this down. And maybe, Harrington, you can Google it. I read this morning that the claim comes into $3 million for loss of earnings, $3 million, I think, for defamation of character, and there was $3 million for something else. Altogether, that's $9 million. And in the state of New Jersey, $3 million, I think it was something to do with mislabeling or something like that. And, and then in the state of New Jersey... Uh, there was a reason why I'm sure you tell me in a minute how it is. So they tripled it. Obviously, three nines is 27, and that's how they came to the number. I mean, so my God, I mean, 27 million dollars. I mean, it's incredible. The guy could never fight again. I guess the interesting question is, 
will he still fight? I honestly believe he will. Because you know what $27 million, million dollars can do for you, Lewis? It can do anything. It can do anything. You can buy whatever you want. You can buy houses. You can buy cars. You can buy women. You can buy... You can buy businesses. You can start businesses. You can start your own brand of I love you shoes. He can shut down can do Gas Digital with one twenty seventh of that. He can go here and we're gone. We'll never do a podcast again. Do you know what you can't buy with all that money, Lewis? What? The UFC middleweight championship of the fucking world. Bam 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 bam. <laughs> And I'm joking, but no, no, but but in, in all honesty, I think he will still carry on fighting because, you know, that's his identity. That's who he is. He's a true competitor. Of course, he went to the Olympics wrestling. I think he got a gold medal, if I'm not mistaken. Any man that so, is cut from that cloth, cool. I think he's still going to fight. Now, he's getting older. He's no spring chicken. Uh, maybe we'll see him have one or two more fights. But uh, again, I, I'll say it. Listen, I'll, I always said... That he was a cheat. Of course, when a man tests his test positive for steroids, um, well, there you go. There is the smoking gun, you know, and he always claimed a tainted supplement. All right. Obviously, this has gone through a trial, it's gone through a hearing, litigation, all that stuff, and they found evidence to support that. Apparently, they didn't, ad- uh, sorry, label, it wasn't on the label, all the ingredients. There was there was uh, uh, some some stuff that wasn't labeled. So because of that, you know, he failed his drug test and therefore they're liable. So they sued him and it worked. So rightly so. Still, uh, well, yeah. I'm still going to say he fucking used something at some point, I'd say. <laughs> but don't sue me. Allegedly. Uh, so, Mike, just to clean that up a little bit, that other $3 million to bring it up to nine total was for emotional damages. So I think that's where you guys fall in. Mm. Um, and then, yeah. It's- <laughs> because emotional damage to UL. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, uh, it's the Consumer Fraud Act in New Jersey. So because a consumer was deliberately defrauded by a company, like that's what they found in this, uh, he's awarded triple the damages. So $9 million total triples up to $27 million. Jesus Christ. And I'll say this. Was he residing in New Newark, New Jersey, is the company based in Newark, New Jersey? Because if not, they were really fucking smart to file that lawsuit in, in New Jersey. Jersey very where smart. that law was there, where you get it triple if you if you're awarded damages. I mean, if that was just a lawyer move, God bless their souls. If they just were able to manipulate the system and go, oh yeah, we know this little loophole right here. Yeah, uh, Mike. Really quick, talk to us a little bit about Robinhood, which I just downloaded. You you advised me to download this app. What is it? Well, here it is. Robinhood is an investment app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. While other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, Robinhood doesn't charge any commission fees, so you can trade stocks and keep all of your profits. Plus, there is no account minimum deposit needed to get started, so you can start investing at any level. The simple, intuitive design of Robinhood makes investing easy for newcomers and experts alike. View easy-to-understand charts and market data and place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. You can also view stock collections such as the 100 most popular. With Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio. Discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. Robinhood is giving listeners of Believe You Me a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you start building your portfolio. So, sign up today at Believe.Robinhood.com. That's Believe.Robinhood.com. You're welcome. All right, let's get back into the show. There's a whole other side to this as well, which, you know, and by the way, I hope he gets paid. I hope he gets his money. I hope he goes away. He has a family. I don't know if he's married, but, um, you he's know, probably good, got a for bunch of good for him. Good for his management team as well. They obviously all had his corner from day one. I saw some of their posts. Fair play. You know, listen, all's fair in love and war. I know we had our fucking beef. It wasn't even really a beef. I've never actually had a conversation with Yoel. You know, we were competitors in the same division. 
I was the champion. You know, he wanted the belt. It's fair enough. It's all good. You know what I mean? And as far as I was ever concerned, it was just a bit of fucking tongue in cheek, a bit of bullshit, a bit of hype, a bit of selling fights. Okay, turns out Cubans don't like it when you rip the flag up. You know, I say get over it. Fucking relax, man. Well, you but also have way, to learn. I mean, you, if I had a guess, my assumption would be that you'll likely never rip up a Cuban flag again. And sometimes you have to make mistakes in order to correct yourself. I don't know. You put me in that position. You, I'm telling you right now. You put me in a position. You put me in a position. If you put a Cuban a flag. Fucking, if, if you put a little... By the way, by the way, let's just clarify. It wasn't a Cuban flag. It was a little cocktail stick with a little paper flag on that resembled or in the design or the likeness of the Cuban national flag. That's what it is. It's a flag. It's just because it was made of paper. Okay. It was a flag. It was a mini one on a cocktail stick. It was like an accoutrement for a cocktail. Now, <laughs> if there was a Cuban, if I had said flag, and by the way, let's take Cuba out of this. If I had a Puerto Rican flag, you wouldn't get it. If I, I, if I, if I had a Puerto Rican flag, if I had an American flag, you wouldn't. If I had. Let's stick with Puerto Rican. It's more fun. If I had a Puerto Rican flag. And Jorge Rivera, El Conquistador, was getting up in my grill, talking mad shit. I'd rip that flag up, baby boy. No, you I'd would rip, never, you would I'd never rip do that it, again. I'd throw it, I'd burn it, I would <laughs> dance on it. What about Yoel dancing on the Union Jack and setting fire to it? I think that trumps me ripping up a cocktail stick. Yeah, probably, but it was a retaliation, you know? It, because in that moment, you, there was a shot across the bow, and you started it, right? So what he was doing was, that was very serious, and he was willing to throw away, like for you, it was just you going like, oh, look, ha, 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 fuck you, Yoel, right? Just a dumb, it was a joke. <laughs> essentially, it's a joke, right? It's just, yeah, it's, essentially, that's, that's what it is. exactly what it was. Right? I was just like, I was in the moment, playing the pantomime bad guy, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. Like, yeah, whatever, oh. I, I, and I'll... I know exactly who it was. It was a girl that worked for Fox. Obviously, we're with ESPN now. The girl that shall remain nameless. She saw it, and I had a joke about it. I said, oh, wouldn't that be funny? I'll throw that at Yoel. But I never took it with me. But she's a little shit stirrer, the woman in question. Yeah. And she brought it down because she had to escort me with security from the Fox desk down to ringside. Yeah. And when I sat there, she looked at me. She just went, shh and slid it over and wow. gave it to me. And she knew what I was you doing. could there's no way that you would be able to avoid that. Like the next time you come into Gas Digital, I'm going to make sure we're going to have just like we're going to have uh Cuban flags all over the place for you and, and I don't think you'll be able to get through a show without reaching out grabbing one and ripping it up because at one point it'll be funny the timing will be right and that'll be that but yoel he took it very like he's disrespecting my culture like they take it as like dude the blood that my fucking father bleeds for this land michael bisping is spitting on right now that's how serious he took it so he was willing to like he came back and he was like well i will dance on i'll dance on the british flag now thinking that you're gonna also go oh my god he just smacked my culture in the face you don't give a shit. You're like, oh, that's kind of funny, actually. The video was great. The, the, the production levels on that video were far better than any <laughs> podcast we've ever put out. I'm like, who's the producer? I want to know who that guy is. I mean, the music was in sync. The audio was picture perfect. The video was fucking 1080p, whatever that is. You know, so I'm like, fucking that. Uh, listen, Yoel. You know, he might come from a third world country or whatever it is, but fuck me, they know how to put together a quality video product down there. No, anyway, we're going off track. The point I was going to say is that, yeah, you know, we, we, I never really spoke to the guy. And for that matter, never really spoke to uh, Jorge Masvidal. I wish uh, you all the best. I mean, that that's amazing for anybody to win that amount of money. It's, it's, it's like a lottery win. It really is. It's incredible. Yeah. So, you know, well done, buddy. Enjoy it. Use it for good. Uh, you know, do some good things. Spread some love. And enjoy yourself. You know, and I'd like to see him back in the octagon. I'm a fan of watching him fight. I really am. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, yeah, slow clap. Well done to him and his whole management team. Yeah, good for him. I mean, uh, do you think his management team gets their 10% or 15% or whatever it is them? Are, hey, are you serious? Are you serious? Bro, any management team 
anybody who's at the helm with that stuff, they're like, okay, we got this. Yeah. We're going to go for this big time. They're taking the 10%. The lawyer probably worked on uh, pro bono. So they'll probably get 10, 15%. You know, um, you have to pay tax, all that stuff. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be left with a hell of a lot of money when it's yeah. all said and done. Now, what happens the if the company doesn't is- pay? Like, what if the company goes under, they don't have the money? You know, you can sue, sue me for $27 million right now. Have it's very fun. simple, Lewis. It's very simple. And, th- and this is the point I was just about to raise. Um, they can just fold as a company. Simple as that. $27 million. It's a lot of money. If I, if, if I, I was going to say if that was me, if I was an unscrupulous type of guy and not a man that would pay my debts, because I'm kind of like a Lannister in many ways. I always pay my debts. You but, you know, this is how I am. You know, I'm cut from that cloth, Lewis. I'm old-fashioned. Call it what you will. Um, but the smart thing to do would just be put the company into receivership. Say you've gone bankrupt. Start again. Start another company in a different name. Simple as that. Done. And, don't and they pay. can't do anything. I mean, what? What? There really is nothing to do. It's, uh, that's when you start an LLC. That's what it's for. Essentially, they take all the assets, right? They they, they go bankrupt. They yeah, they get as much as they can. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You'd have to do some fancy footwork. You know, you'd have to. You, you'd probably lose a bit, but you ain't going to lose twenty seven million dollars. But you uh, you hide all your assets. You know, you, you have some other people. You close the company. You say you've got no more money, you know? I mean, it depends. It depends how smart they are. It depends how um, financially sound they are, not in terms of the amount of money, in terms of the amount of uh, business acumen, financial planning, all the rest of it. I, I don't know the company. I forget what it was called now, but uh, yeah. I, I did Google it a little bit to try and get a scope on how big it was. I mean, if this is a huge company, let's say like, you know, a My Protein UK... <laughs> You know, or ultimate sports, you, you, you know, all these massive protein supplement companies, they make a lot of money. So if it's a bit, if it's one of the big players, it's probably best for them because they've got all the brand equity, you know, to just um, pay it and move on. But that said, you'd lose consumer faith. Mm. If you buy a product and then it's out there in the news, hold on, it's I don't done. know what's in this shit. It's done. So you, you might as well close the fucking company. company anyway and, and restart it in another name and save yourself $27 million. Yeah, Gold Star Performance Products. Uh, they are based out of New Jersey. And they're based out of New Jersey. I just happen to be lucky. Um, oh, look at that chick's ass. Mm. Good for them. I want to keep on being so that That's why they filed in New Jersey. That makes sense then because the company's based in New Jersey, so they had to file there. And it just turns out, yeah, that, that law was there where the money is tripled so that was good good for them good for Yoel and his team um yeah i don't what know what about the fact that we're even talking about them worth? well do you think the, the va- there's value in the fact that we're even discussing them and now it's a company like the amount of press even those bad they say no press is bad press do you think it's you know worth it to shut down or do you think it may be worth it to say hey let's weather the storm we use this opportunity to tell the story about how you know we messed up and now we can you know use this to get bigger and better i guess there, somebody knows the answer there well, 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 you say there's no such thing as bad press. To a certain degree, that's correct. You know, but, but, but not when you're trying to sell something to somebody. You know, if it's an individual, there's no such thing as bad press because your name's out there. You're getting bigger. You're getting more hits. You're getting more likes. You, your, your brand equity is, in, is increasing. It's growing. But if you're a company that's selling things and the press is basically saying that this company as garbage products this company sells you something that is not what it says on the tin then that's bad press that's yeah. really bad you know if it says listen the press is we had to pay somebody 27 million dollars because we bought this shit hold on what am i saying i'm going out there and i'm buying all of their products right now <laughs> in the hope that they fuck me as well so yeah you're right or worst case scenario their website to do a ton of traffic right now probably oh uh, i mean or worst case scenario you end up looking like you all over Maryland, and be like what i did it clean <laughs> great <laughs> look at this <laughs> it's unbelievable completely clean you know what, mike here's my problem with you though is you talk a little bit too much shit and i've got to let you know that i got no respect for you or the Union Jack. Oh, you see that, bitch? You see that? That's right. Oh, look at that. I know you, my God. I know you. Harrington's got to clean that up. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button with its notification bell and leave a comment in the comment box below 
of what you thought of the video and tune in for more on MMA news outlets.